So when I wake up today in the morning and open my laptop, so I have seen that the interface of Seller Central of all of my account has been changed. So this is the interface which Amazon introduces last year, but that wasn't be the face and some of these sellers were able to see that interface and some are not. But from today's date, 12th October, all of the Seller Central have been changed and that beta version of that Seller Central has been completely changed and from now, all of the Amazon sellers will have to see this new interface. So in today's video, I'm going to completely walk you through the whole interface and it's super easy, not too complicated, pretty much the same, only the position of the navigation bar and the color has been changed. So let's see how the new interface look like and how to use it. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnels and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my Seller Central now and you can see that this interface is completely changed. This is the new interface and in the header menu, there is a dark color and on the top, you can see that Amazon is giving me the message that the new navigation key links organized and adds one click access to your favorite page. So if I click on take the tour, so it will take me to the tour of this new interface. But right now, I'm going to click on no thanks because I have already explored this new interface and it looks pretty much good. And with the help of this new interface, you can just navigate quickly to where you want in your seller central so you can see that on the top right corner there is the amazon seller central logo and this is basically the home page button so if i click on that button i will be able to navigate to the home page of seller central and right after that it's my account name and then i can see a search bar so if i don't want to navigate to any place by just clicking on the left menu i can just click on the search bar and type wherever i want to navigate so it will take me to that particular page so for example if i want to see my sales i want to see my orders i want to see my account health so I can just type the account health here in search bar so it will navigate me to that page in case I forgot how to navigate otherwise you can just go on the left side menu click on that menu and here you can see all of those header buttons which you were able to see on the top bar on the previous interface you can see that here is the inventory and under that menu we can see all of the sub menu like manage inventory sell globally dashboard FB inventory and so on and just like that pricing orders advertising so the whole menu and the navigation system will be same but the position is changed and here is what I feel that why they put the navigation menu to the left and not in the top because you can see that just like we bookmark some pages into our browser like Google Chrome or Safari which we basically use frequently so we don't have to type and navigate to them again and again we just click on that bookmark tab and just land on that page which we are going to use. So in that way you can see that under the search bar here is written add your favorite pages here by clicking this icon in the navigation menu. So for example after opening your seller central daily you check your sales, you check your account health and you check your advertising menu. So you can just click on this add button and from there you can just add your frequently visited page here. So you don't have to navigate them every time. You just go on seller central, click on that page and you will be navigated to that page instantly. So as we have covered the left menu, the search bar, the add to favorite button so now go on the right side and here we can see four buttons number one is messages number two is settings number three is language and number four is help so as we all know that if someone purchases a product and they have any question about that so they can just send us the message and we will be able to see that message here in the message section and after that in the language if you are in any other country like germany france italy or spain and you are speaking any other language other than english so you can just convert the language from here and from the help section, you can navigate to the articles which might help you in solving your problem. So after that, at last, the most important section is settings. So this setting menu is the most important menu for all of the sellers because from that menu, we can just add your payment method, attach your card, change your name, address and other business information just like your tax document and so on. And if you have hired someone remotely to manage your seller central account or you want to add or delete that sub user in your seller central, so you can also do that from that settings menu. So that's pretty much all about this new interface. I hope you like it and from now, you will enjoy using that new interface. So let me know in the comment box below, how is the experience for this new interface to you? Is it okay, bad or good? So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.